What will the NFC East look like? Uh, the Washington football team will be your NFC East 2020 division champs. Mm. And the Cowboys season will, season will officially be over. Mm. And I'll get an opportunity to gloat some more. Because not only am I gloating about the championship the Lakers won, mm. but I'll be gloating to say I told you so that you mm. guys weren't going to make the playoffs. Mm. And I even predicted 8-8, eight and eight, but mm. uh, I don't really see mm. that happening, Skip. Did so you tell me that half my team would be <laughs> lost to injury? Did you tell me that? Did you predict that? No, 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 no. Hold on. Skip. What about all these other teams that had COVID and the Broncos having to play a quarterback that was selling mops mm. just the day before at Walmart? The, the, the Broncos aren't in the <laughs> NFC League. <laughs> they should you know, be because they'll be in contention they also. Be. They probably win it. So that's what that's 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 where I'm headed, Skip. I think this is a game that no matter who plays now is trending in a direction that Alex Smith is going to get the start. This should be a deep Ron Rivera tear your defense. You guys are gonna have to win this game. Now, Alex Smith is normally very cautious with the football, although you wouldn't know it by some of the games that he's played. But if he does not turn the football over, or if Haskins, whomever plays, if they don't turn the football over, I, and I understand that Carolina, although they haven't won a, ball, a lot of ball games, they've been in all the ball games for the most part, except the last half of the, uh, of the Tampa game. Skip. They've been in all the ball games. But if, it does, if they don't turn it over with the way they de their defense, the Washington football team defense is playing, I don't see a scenario in which Carolina can drive the ball, say, two, three times down the field and get touchdowns. Mm. Now, if you give them short fields, yeah, all bets are off. But I'm saying make them drive the football to get the ball in the end zone. I believe Alex Smith will make enough plays if he's the starter. Dwayne Haskins, if Dwayne Haskins starts or plays, all bets are off. I have no idea what's going to happen. Mm. More times than not, probably something bad is going to happen. Mm. But I'm going to believe Alex, I'm, and I'm speaking as if Alex Smith is going to start and finish this ball game, and I'm going to take the Washington football team to win this division, mm -hmm. and it'll be over. Mm. Mm, it starts at 425 for you, so by 6 o'clock, you should be crying. Mm. So you're saying it doesn't matter whether we win or lose against Jalen Hurts and company. Win, lose, or draw. We're done. Or forfeit. It is because over. Because it would be over if the Washington <laughs> football team wins its game head-to-head so, -head with our game. Yes. Because Washington got flexed out of the early window to the late afternoon. I was kind of hoping to stay at the 1 o'clock game. I was So too. you guys, so when Washington be, wins, we, we just then be, you would have to play. We'd be dead in the water. We'd <laughs> yeah. just be sitting there saying, we don't even have any reason to play. Right. And get blown out. Okay, my turn. <laughs> I can best summarize my emotions by saying this really hurts, yeah. as in Jalen hurts. Never have my emotions been more mixed than they have leading into this Sunday. Right. As you know, I am the biggest Jalen Hurts fan on the planet. Yep. I am driving that bandwagon, and I didn't second guess. I first guessed, as opposed to somebody I know who leaped aboard the Patrick Mahomes bandwagon <laughs> after he was drafted and after he started playing in his second season. Yeah. I said it right out of the box. I said the day that the Eagles stepped up and took him in the second round, I said, kaboom, that's it for your man Give what? it to him, Wentz. <laughs> I said it's over because Jalen Hurts will prove to be the better performer at quarterback. I'm not saying he's more gifted or talented or more prototypical than Carson Wentz. He's just a better football player mm -hmm. at that position than Carson Wentz. And I think two games in, most people are saying, yep, yep. here he comes. Well, here he comes to Jerry World. Well, obviously, I am a lifelong Cowboy fan. I, I admit it's – I, I have blue blood, and it's not royal blood. It's just cowboy blue blood. Mm -hmm. And I cannot help myself because I feel, once again, I just feel it right now. I'm being sucked down into the cowboy trap. Yeah. And I thought I was out of it. I got both feet out of the trap about a month ago. Yeah, I you said, say I'm over done. It. Yep. I'm out. And then they got me again. You can say they're teasing me, they're tormenting me, they're misguiding, misleading me. Because they know they dangled a couple of wins in front of you, yes. you'll come back. <laughs> and, and now they have pulled me back into full-on delusion, right? <laughs> Where I'm saying, you know what? We got a shot. Well, I do believe it. And I've tried, to, I slept on it last night. I said, be careful here. Let's, let's, be, let's be completely objective. And reasonable. And reasonable and Let's let's really analyze. Let's cut through what has happened. Well, 
I just saw them score 30 points at Cincinnati. And remember what happened Monday night at Cincinnati. <laughs> Pittsburgh got shellacked by the Bengals. It was 27 to 17, and it really wasn't close. But you told me a division rival, that's different. Okay, but I, I saw my team just two Sundays ago, you know, two weeks ago. Yeah. Go to Cincinnati on that same field you were watching on Monday night yeah. and score 30 points and win 30 to 7 over those very same Bengals. No division rivalry. I got it. Okay. Did you get four, how many turnovers did you get? Did you get us some turnovers? The Three. stupid score? Would you believe that over the last two weeks, yeah. my team leads all of football in turnover differential because we are seven to nothing. We got three in that game and four against yeah. the 49ers. Yeah. So we are seven. We have not turned it over in two weeks. Yes. Who knew? Thank you, God. Thank you, Santa. I don't know where it came from, but all of a sudden we're <laughs> seven to nothing in turnovers over two games. Would you believe we scored 41 points against San Francisco without Ezekiel Elliott? Well, something's happening here, Mr. Sharp. I'm I'm sorry. So you recommend Zeke don't play on Sunday? Is that what your recommendation is? He's are? gonna try to go. He was limited in practice. He's got a calf. It's the, the weird part of his injury is it's not a calf pull, it's a calf contusion. So right. he got kicked in the leg. Right. And it's still bothering him. I don't really get it, but I don't really care. Right. Because I thought we looked a little more explosive. With, with Pollard. With the guy you once called Mike Pollard, <laughs> Tony Pollard at running back. And I'm not saying he's better than Zeke or he's the long-term answer. I'm just saying right here, right now, I saw some pop that right. I, I don't see from Zeke. Right. I'm worried about Zeke going forward because I just think he's he's just never going to be what he was. Mm -mm. It just doesn't feel like that to me. So we're not talking about the, the distant future. We're talking about the now future, right? right? Mm -hmm. So on this Sunday... I think Tony Pollard will probably start. They might give Zeke some carries. I'm not sure. Stephen Jones made the point that just on sheer physicality, he can still wear down a defense. I'll give you that. But but when, when you're being physical with them, they're also being what, physical what, back. Well, Skip, here's the thing. Wearing down a defense is fine if you have the lead. Tennessee Titans, the Derrick Henry wearing you down, they have a lead mm -hmm. 7, 10, 14 points. Okay. But when you're behind 20 points, what good is wearing down the defense? Okay. Not well, thanks to two early turnovers from yeah. Nick Mullins, we were ahead 14 to nothing, and I didn't even know what to do with myself because it's been ages since we had a 14 to nothing And then lead. guess what? San Francisco got right back in the ball game, and you ended up having to go nip and tuck. They tried to the onside kick. You guys run it back. But that game – Although what should have been a blowout because of those early turnovers by Nick Mullins, it was a ball game. Okay, so here comes Jalen Hurts. And obviously, the first point of this, first part of this question is, can my team beat Jalen Hurts? No. I don't love it, to tell you the truth, but I just have a feeling about my team that they have caught little fire. It's not big fire. It's just little fire. It's off-radar fire where all of a sudden what they have left to work with after being decimated by injuries, the offensive line is playing at a decent level where Andy Dalton gets protected just enough to make four or five throws that can win a game. Really, Skip? So, so you feel that he's going to be able to get that kind of protection against Clark, uh, Clark, uh, 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 Fletcher Cox mm -hmm. and Brandon Graham and Barnett? Sweat. So that's what you believe in? You feel really yeah, correct? Sweats out this time, but that's okay. Ah, uh, dang. Yeah, okay. But, but Your day comes, Fletcher Cox Skip. hasn't practiced, but you just know what that's yeah, about. He's he just resting up so he can eat, Ooh. right? And, and he will come in. They will cause problems. I still have three really good receivers. I don't care what you say. They're all Pro Bowl quality receivers. They didn't make the Pro Bowl, but they're quality. Yeah. So I say they can make enough plays. Darius Slay is coming back for he cleared concussion protocol and full participant in practice. So that's no good for me. But still, I think, Jay, look, I'm going to be such mixed emotions. I've never been thrust into this bad a situation trying to root for my team while also hoping that the rival quarterback has a good game. And I believe he will have a good game because everybody has a good game against my defense. Yeah. So I say fairly high scoring, but I say Andy Dalton, who I used to call the best quarterback still in the East until Jalen came along. Now I think Andy Dalton's the second best quarterback. Oh, wow. But I believe because they're on a quiet little late season roll that they will manage to turn him over a couple of times, which he has not been doing. He had the late turnover the first game he mm -hmm. played against New Orleans, which was just careless. But I think they'll turn him over a couple of times. Trevon Diggs has been talking about they're close from Alabama days mm -hmm. together. And he said, I, it, it, today, the kids today are different. Because usually when you're playing your best friend, you're like, 
boy, I hate this. I don't, I don't want that. Today, the, the kids want to play against each other and beat each other and, and humiliate Have each bragging other. Have rights. Right? Well, okay. So that's what he said. I want to get him a couple times. Right. Well, I hope he does. Right. He's back. And he is a player, and I think he's destined to make some Pro Bowls in his career. So I'm, I, I have a very good feeling that my team's on enough of a roll at home. Remember, they're the, they're they like the only team in the league that gets fans. I don't know. It seems like every game at Jerry World, there are more fans. Yeah, you, it feels it, like it's half full. It went from, it went from like five to six thousand. I don't know. To Thirty. I, I look around. I say it's half full. Yeah. It, it looks like <laughs> COVID. What COVID? So let me let me ask you this, Skip. Here's a team. Your defense now. Your defense is second to last in rushing. I mean, the last in rushing defense. They're second to last in scoring defense. But but a lot of that got built up from all those disasters but, early. But but here's the thing though, and what you're doing is taking the last two games and want to, so you want to whitewash twelve previous games I do. and only look at the last two I do. games. Somehow this defense made peace with the new coordinator Mike Nolan. I I don't think he'll be back next year, but somehow internally, maybe led by Sean Lee, who's still the leader of that defense, who is healthy, and I think he's going to play a lot on Sunday. I think I they so. all they all just said because you don't like him, but I like him. He just okay. can't play no more. Okay. Well, Van Der Esch has got an ankle, so I don't even know if he's going to be able to go. But somehow that defense has said, "Let's just do it in spite of him. Let Let's just play our technique the way he wants us to play, and see if we can figure this out." And Demarcus Lawrence has risen and shown in the last two Sundays, where he he gave me two Pro Bowl games in a row, and I need another one against Jalen Hurts, and. I, I just got a feeling they can win this game 30 to 27. So, meanwhile, back at the ranch, yeah, back so in DC. Washington, <laughs> okay, look what's happening here. You realize they just got flexed. So, all of a sudden, for the first time all year, yeah. they're going to feel pressure they have not felt because they've been doing it in the shadows. They sort of came from nowhere when you least expected it. They started Haskins the first four games. He was a disaster. They did steal the first game against Philly, and that kind of kept him afloat. Then they wiped out Dallas twice, second time on Thanksgiving. It was just annihilation, humiliation. And Yet, there was no pressure on them because nobody really cared about the least well, until I'm lately. Well, I'm disappointed that you guys got flexed out because we know what you guys do in primetime. Mm. You guys buckle in mm. primetime. Remember every primetime game that you guys have played this mm. year? Mm. What has happened? You look terrible. So I'm disappointed that you got flexed out. The other that They flexed uh, uh, Cleveland and the Giants in your schedule because okay. that would have been a loss. Okay, but I told you yesterday, I was hoping that the – the playing field will get leveled between us and the Washington football team, our longtime arch rival, our most bitter rival, because we got strapped with one Ben DiNucci game in prime time at Philadelphia. How lucky were you in that game? Well, our seventh round rookie had to play, and he was not ready to, and I'm not sure he'll ever be ready to. Well, Washington said we got strapped with Dwayne Haskins. Okay, well, you did not. You picked him. He was like the 15th overall pick no, no, in the no, no, draft. No, no. I mean, come Ron, on. Ron Rivera said I didn't pick okay, him. Okay, well, he didn't, <laughs> but, but, and now. Now you got problems because it doesn't look like it's going to be your third string quarterback, Taylor Heineke. That would be fair as right. fair, right? Because he's undrafted out of Old Dominion, but he did start a game for Carolina a couple of years ago. Right. But then you got Steven Montez. Montez from Colorado, undrafted rookie, is on your practice squad. And I was even hoping he would be your Ben DiNucci, that you're going to have to play him. Well, I mean, well it's just fair. No, Level no, the no, playing no, field. No, you no, can no. have one game with Steven Montez. We had one with Ben DiNucci. No, don't do that, Skip. We had one with Garrett Gilbert. He played pretty well, actually. Look, we are – It's our, come on, Skip. We're playing with a guy that many people thought he would never play again. He almost had his leg amputated. Okay, I got that it. That should be our Ben DiNucci. Okay, all right. So, w whatever. So it looks like Alex Smith, he threw on the side. He's, he's listed as limited, which means I guess he's going to play. That's what it feels like to me. He's got a calf injury. Okay, mm -hmm. so how limited will he be if he starts the game? Well, I, all I got to tell you is the last time I watched Alex Smith was at San Francisco against the same team that we just blew out 41. They got a late Hail Mary 33. Mm -hmm. It's 41 to 33. Alex Smith had a QBR of nine on a scale of zero to 100 in the game back in his old stomping grounds where he got picked first overall at San Francisco. Right. Help me out. Is that good? No, Skip, no. because, he, look, the thing is, they're probably going to heat him up. Skip, he can't move. Okay, thank you. 
So it's either going to be Alex Smith or they're stuck with a Dwayne Haskins who the, they can't get off the roster fast enough. Okay, they cannot because again they find him, they took away his captaincy. Well, they should okay. put an S on his chest. Selfish. Okay, selfish. That's fine with me. And by the way, Stephen Montez on the practice squad liked a tweet that called. Dwayne Haskins garbage, gar G A R B A G E. It was just written out garbage, and he liked it. Ooh, that's strong. Yeah. I wish he was starting. But the point is, if you're stuck with Dwayne Haskins for whatever reason, because Rivera's saying, well, if it's not Alex, it's still Dwayne. Right. Your heart going to be in it playing for that guy after what he did to you? Well, Skip, we still got a chance. But I, I think we set that aside for the simple fact of what's at stake. We mm. still have an opportunity, stake. We mm -hmm. still have an opportunity to win the division. Yes, I'm disappointed because he put us in a situation that didn't need to happen. Mm. And, you know, the old saying, Skip, it's easier to apologize than ask for permission. Mm. Because do you believe that he would say, hey, Coach Rivera, let me ask you a question. I know we lost today, but you think it'd be okay if I go to the strip joint and blow <laughs> off a little steam? Yeah. But it's easier to apologize than ask that man for permission. Yep. So with that being said... I still believe the defense can win the game. Now, Alex, Skip, we know Alex. He got the name checked down because he was unwilling to take risks. Mm -hmm. I looked at, he had, Skip, Alex Smith threw 125 touchdowns in five years in Kansas City. Patrick Mahomes has 112 in 45 games. So what will he have in five years? So you're probably talking about 170, 180 touchdowns. Mm -hmm. what, what this guy threw in five years. So he's very cautious with the football. The problem is, Skip, he just can't move. Okay. It's hard for him to get out of harm's Thank you. way. Okay, so this is going to be a low-scoring affair. When I guessed the point spread on Carolina at Washington, I just thought, the Red, I'm going to the Redskins, football the, the football team, I'm thinking. 3-4. No, I thought it'd be six. I thought, come on, over Carolina, they, they're, they've lost, what, they have to 10 in a row now? Mm -hmm. 10 in a row they've right. lost. And – I look, and it opened at only one and a half. Mm -hmm. Washington football team by one and a half. Yeah. Now it's been bet up because people are saying, really, only one and a half to two and a half. Right. Well, that means Carolina, according to the odds makers, has a shot here. They do. They okay. Do. Because they're looking at, Skip, they're looking at the quarterback situation yep. in Washington. Yep. It's not like it's a, it's a pillar of stability. You got Alex Smith who missed the game the previous week with a yep. calf injury. We don't know he's throwing on the side. Hell, Skip, throwing on the side ain't throwing on the field and, and taking step mm. because he's being very cautious with it. He's not going back dropping and driving that football because he doesn't want to run the risk of injury. Okay. And then they got the Dwayne Haskins. Okay. They're like, he's, he's plus three for the other team. Okay, so I watched the whole game on Saturday evening, Carolina at your man Aaron Rodgers on the frozen tundra, Lambeau Field. And what did I see Carolina do to your man Aaron Rodgers in the second half? They held him to 44 yards passing. Yeah. And Aaron said, I sucked. Yeah. 44 yards passing. And they sacked him three times. And you told me last week they can't sack anybody. And they sacked Aaron Rodgers three times they against that offensive sack. line. They, they, got, they got him, Skip. <laughs> but here's the thing. Do you believe Green Bay's defense is the equivalent of Washington's defense? That's what you have to it's ask. It's pretty good, but it's probably not that the front, front seven. That no. front seven is relentless. Okay, and I that's got what, it. This is what Chase Young, and this is where those guys got to earn that money. So here's what I love about my new man, Teddy Bridge over Troubled Waters. He's going to be my bridge over Troubled Waters this year. No, you hope I me. need Teddy Bridgewater to come up big. He is capable of winning road games when you least expect it. Last year for New Orleans, he went up to Seattle, remember that? And his first <laughs> big start, what did he do? He beat the Seahawks when they were riding high. Beat your team. Okay, but look what he did. He outplayed Mahomes at Mahomes this year, and they finally lost 33-31, to and he out QBR'd. Patrick Mahone boy in his home, boy. How about that? But, but guess what he had? Yeah. That was the first game he had who back? C-Mac. Okay. And right. he... There's no C-Mac. He's out. That's yep. for a fact. Okay. Then what else has he done? Well, he, he did Teddy Bridgewater and company. They went to New Orleans, and they only lost by three, 27 to 24 to Drew Brees. Mm -hmm. Matt Rule, college coach from Baylor. Yeah. <sighs> They, they play with that old college try. They hang yeah. in these games. They yeah. went to Minnesota when Minnesota had won three out of four games, and they lost 28 to 27. I can show you a bunch of games where they hung in and played it close. Yeah, they got a nice offense. They got a wide they, – they, they trio wide receivers, of DJ Moore and Robbie Anderson and uh, Samuels. Yep. They, got, they, not got, they got a nice little group. They got Davis a, can run the ball. He's not Christian McCaffrey, but he can run okay. the serviceable. I agree. The three receivers are all dangerous because yeah. they can run. Yeah. Okay. So there's a shot here, and I'm taking the shot. I say it's going to be the upset of the year, 
and it won't be that big an upset because Washington is going to feel the pressure, and they've got trouble at quarterback. They have issues surrounding the quarterback position. It's going to be low scoring, and I believe Teddy Bridge over troubled waters can get to 20. I think he can put up 20 against that defense, and if he does, get 20 to 17. We're getting 23 to Okay. End. Whatever you get to, we're getting to three more. Hmm. And all of a sudden, head-to-head, -head, you can watch it unfold right before your very eyes on your two TVs. You'll see, uh-oh, the Dallas Cowboys are tied for the lead in hey. the NFC East? Ain't happening. And, and then it will come down to the final weekend, and then I'll really be back on the Jalen Hurts bandwagon because they have to uh, end the Washington season the following week. But what happens What happens if uh, Danny Dimes in your okay, season? Well, he... He will try, and Jason Garrett will try to get his revenge yes, as the offensive yes, coordinator. Yes, yes. And it won't happen because we already beat them once, and there's just something about it's the rock, paper, scissors within the division. We got the number of. We are the paper covering the rock of the Giants. Well, so what? Philly, so mm. I got Philly beating you guys, and I got Washington beating Carolina, mm. which really doesn't need to happen. Well, that's what you told me was going to happen last Sunday, and you were no, wrong on no, both no, no, counts. No, 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 you told no, no, me no. San Francisco would destroy Dallas, and you I told me— I picked the Cowboys. You did not? I did. You said it was over. No, no, I said it was over because I thought uh, uh, Washington would win. Oh, and what happened? But Dwayne Haskins oh, happened. Okay. Well, Seattle happened. I, that was a no-brainer for me. That was a gimme. If they'd have had a competent quarterback, they'd have won that game. Okay, you but know that. I, we knew going in they didn't have a competent quarterback. But I thought he, I thought he was better. I thought from watching, he was like, you know what? I, guess I see how Alice is doing it. You know, you don't have to take unnecessary risk. We got a defense, and as long as we don't give them a short field, we can win this ball game. And hmm. but that's okay. Hmm. Your day. I, I'm not going to let you ruin my Christmas Eve because Christmas right around the corner. <laughs> yep. I'll deal with you on Monday, mm -hmm. but I just want answer my call on, on Sunday because mm -hmm. okay. I'm calling you after the game. Okay. I will be waiting patiently by my phone because okay. I watch my team win and your new team lose. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because I got a feeling about this. Please, Santa. Hey, just, no, no, just, how you, I, I just got a feeling. You can't be begging to talk about you got a feeling. That's I got not a, a feeling. feeling. I got a Christmas Eve feeling. This is happening right here, right now. My team has finally taken off. But Bassett Tracing to help that feeling. Mm. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show. And be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed. Or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.